Hello friends, in Microsoft Word, the equation editor is used for writing equations in mathematical format. In some curriculums like International Baccalaureate, it is must for the students to write the equations in proper mathematical format in their assignments. Hence it is important for an IB student to have a full knowledge about how to use the equation editor efficiently. Basically, equation editor is not difficult to use, but one can save substantial time if shortcut keys are used to write the equations. In this video, let's learn about both basics and shortcut keys to write a mathematical equation in MS Word. Before this, I request you to subscribe our channel A1 Help if you have not yet subscribed. Also click on bell icon for notifications of our forthcoming videos. We will be regularly uploading useful videos of common interest. Initially we will learn how to use equation editor in a normal way. In the latter part of the video we will learn how to use shortcut keys to write the equations. If you are familiar with the equation editor, you can skip the initial part and directly jump to the part where shortcut keys are discussed. To access equation editor, let's click on insert menu. From here, we will be able to access most of the common symbols. We can choose the relevant category and access the symbol we need. For example, if we are working on a geometrical expressions, we can select geometry category and we can get any symbol related to geometry here. Next to pi symbol, we can access the recently used symbol by clicking on omega symbol. If we click more symbols, we can see all the symbols listed here. To access a particular set of symbols, we can select the required category and the cursor will directly jump to the beginning of that subset. Here at the bottom, again the recently used symbols are listed from where we can select the symbols directly. Here we can select the font of the symbols we require. Here special characters are listed along with their shortcut keys. There are different types of inbuilt mathematical structures available here. This is for typing fractions. There are some commonly used type of fractions which we can select directly and use. If necessary, they can be edited. This is for subscripts and superscripts. This is for radicals. If you want to write a quadratic formula, we don't have to write the entire formula. We can select quadratic structure from here and edit according to our quadratic equation. If you want to write square root of x square plus y square, we can select this inbuilt structure and replace a and b with x and y respectively. This is for integrals. Different types of integral symbols are listed here. We can select the required symbol. This is for large operators. When we require summations, products, coproducts, union, intersections and other large operators, we can use these structures. 
we can select the inbuilt structures directly from here and edit which can save considerable amount of time in typing the equations. These are different type of brackets, brackets with separators, single brackets, cases and stocks. We can select required structure from here. Most of the categories have these commonly used structures which can be selected directly. Simple brackets are listed in the beginning. These are trigonometric functions. We have simple trigonometric functions, inverse functions, hyperbolic functions, inverse hyperbolic functions, etc. Here we can see different accents, box formulas, over bars, under bars. If we want to write in vector form, it can be easily done by selecting this structure. These are for limits and log functions. I am not writing any particular equation but trying to use different types of inbuilt structure just for demo. These are different type of operators, basic operators, operators with structures. These are for matrices. We have matrices formats with brackets, without brackets, identity matrices, sparse matrices, etc. We have maximum 3 by 3 matrix structure here. We can select any structure and key in the elements. If you want to add more rows or columns, we can do the same by right clicking inside the matrix and inserting the rows or columns as needed. Similarly, we can delete any row or column from the matrix. Now let's try to write some mathematical equations using equation editor. Let's click the equation editor to start with. Let's select the square root symbol. Inside the square root, we need to select the fraction symbol. Now let's key in numerator and denominators. In the second equation, we need to select the superscript symbol. Then the brackets. Then fraction symbol inside. Let's key in. To select symbol pi, let's go to symbols category and select pi. Now to write the power 1 by 3, again we need to insert fraction symbol here and key in 1 and 3. Here is a tip. To write any mathematical equation or expression, start from the outermost structure and construct the expression inwards by selecting the desired structures. In next equation, we will start from the outermost structure limit. Ten to symbol can be taken from symbols category. Then let's select fraction structure. Let's key in numerator terms. For superscript, we can use this symbol. Or we can directly use x square from the common structure here. Let's key in the denominator terms. I just forgot to put a space after limits. We can place our cursor and press space bar once. Now let's enter this equation. It looks bit tough but if we follow the steps it is quite simple. Let's select the outermost structure integral sign. We need to select definite integral as we have to use limits. Let's key in the limits. Let's select symbol 
pi from symbols category to write 1 by x let's select fraction symbol and key in numerator and denominator now let's select the square root we will key in 1 plus we can see that the terms inside the square brackets is squared so we have to select the outermost structure superscript format first then select the square bracket again we need to select fraction symbol and key in now select the round bracket again select the fraction symbol and key in to come out of square root press space bar otherwise whatever we key in will continue under the square root symbol so press space bar and key in dx once the equation is written we can select the drop down arrow at the right side of the box few options will pop up if we select change it to inline option the display format will change the above equations could have been written without selecting any category or symbols if you use shortcut keys for them use of shortcut keys makes our life much easier and we can write equations comparatively very fast the only hitch is we should remember the shortcut keys and they can be easily memorized by continuous practice as most of them are very obvious. From my experience, I feel it's worth the pain if we have to write mathematical equations regularly. The first shortcut key we need to know is that how to switch to equation mode. For this we need to press Alt and Equal keys together. Now let's see the most commonly used symbols superscript and subscripts to power any number we need to use this superscript feature to write x square enter x then the caret sign and then 2 remember to enter a space or an operator after that to enable to superscript this caret sign is the most useful shortcut similarly for subscript we use underscore x underscore 2 will result in x subscript 2 the required format will appear only after we press space bar or any other operator shortcut for fraction symbols is forward slash backward slash is used for converting most of the keywords into symbols these keywords has to be typed without any space also after typing a keyword space bar has to be pressed in order to convert the keywords into a symbol let's check them one by one in the equation editor mode let's type backward slash and type left arrow and then press space bar this will convert our input into a left sided arrow similarly after the backward slash if we type right arrow and press space bar we will get right arrow symbol for right arrow we have another shortcut in the equation editor mode just type minus and then greater than symbol if we type up arrow after the slash we get up arrow symbol similarly down arrow for down arrow symbol any arrow for northeast facing arrow se arrow for southeast facing arrow nw arrow for northwest arrow SW arrow for southwest arrow, left right arrow for left right arrow. After slash, whatever keywords we use, we should not forget to use spacebar at the end. These keywords are case sensitive, hence we have to be careful. If we use capital L in left arrow, we get leftwards double arrow. Similarly, if we use capital R in the keyword right arrow we get rightwards double arrow or implies symbol similarly in down arrow keyword if we type the first letter in capital letter we will get downward double arrow 
and the same will follow in upward double arrow. Now let's check some operator symbols. After the slash, if we type times and press spacebar, we will get multiplication symbol. Remember, many of us use lower case x or asterisk for multiplication, which is not the correct mathematical symbol for multiplication. Slash pm gives plus minus symbol. We can also directly get this by typing plus minus one after the other. No need to press spacebar here. Finally, MP gives symbol minus plus. We can also get this symbol by typing minus plus one after the other. If we type greater than and then type equals to, we will get a symbol greater than or equal to. Similarly, if we type less than and then type equals to, we will get the symbol less than or equal to. Slash any gives the symbol not equal to. Slash EQUIV gives the symbol identically equal to. Slash SIM gives tilde symbol. Slash SIMEQ gives asymptotically equal symbol. Slash CONG gives congruent symbol. Slash APPROX gives approximately symbol. Slash INFTY gives infinity symbol. Slash PROPTO gives proportional symbol. Slash SUM gives summation symbol. Slash THEREFORE gives THEREFORE symbol. Slash BECAUSE gives SINCE or BECAUSE symbol. Slash FOR ALL gives FOR ALL symbol. Slash SUBSET gives SUBSET symbol. Slash IN gives BELONGS TO symbol. Slash INT gives INTEGRAL symbol. If you want to overbar A plus B, type slash overbar A plus B within bracket and then press spacebar. If you want to display A plus B within bracket, then we need to put a pair of extra brackets. Similarly for underbar, type slash underbar and the letters within the bracket and then press spacebar. To write X bar, write x slash bar and then press space bar. If we type b in bar in capital letters, we will get x double bar. Again, we need to press space bar here. x slash vec gives x vector. If you want to write a b in vertical format, type a slash a t o p press space bar, then B, press space bar again, we will get A, B in vertical format. Now let's try some commonly used Greek alphabets. Slash alpha followed by space bar will give alpha symbol. Slash beta gives beta symbol. Slash gamma will give gamma. Slash theta will give theta. Slash delta will give delta. Slash sigma will give sigma. Slash omega will give omega. If we type capital O in omega, we will get ohm symbol. Slash iota gives iota symbol. Slash epsilon gives epsilon symbol. Slash phi gives phi symbol. Slash mu gives mu symbol. There are plenty others, but they are not very common. Now let's try to enter earlier equations using the above shortcut keys. First, let's click Alt equals to go to equation editor mode. For square root, let's use the shortcut slash sqrt. Let's type v forward slash and then h. Here we can see that only v is within the square root and not the whole fraction. Here is a tip. What we did is we typed slash sqrt and then press spacebar and then typed v. 
if you want just a square root of v then this is correct but if you want to enter an expression inside the square root we need to press spacebar twice now we can see a box symbol which is for expression has appeared to write within this expression box press left arrow key now if we write v forward slash h in this expression box we will get the desired expression that is the fraction v by h is under the square root when we were not using shortcut keys we have to select the fraction structure then type numerator and denominator but using shortcut key we just type v slash h and got the same fraction now let's enter this equation which involves limits we don't have to select the limit structure here we know that underscore is used for subscript hence let's type lim underscore x then press space bar now let's go back to x by pressing left arrow key twice to type 10 to symbol we can type slash right arrow but the simplest method is just type minus and greater than symbol no slash no space it's easy now let's go to the expression box by pressing right arrow key twice here let's type forward slash and press space bar to get the fraction structure now go to numerator by pressing left arrow key twice for x square just type x caret 2 here we are not switching between keyboard and mouse to select any structure from the equation editor and hence we are able to write the equation comparatively faster using the very obvious shortcut keys now let's enter a statistical equation for deviation for sigma let's type slash sigma and then press space bar let's type slash sqrt now press space bar twice and come back to the expression box let's type forward slash and then press space bar now in the numerator let's type slash sum for x bar let's type x slash bar and then press space bar close the bracket type a caret sign and then type 2 we can see that to power any expression we do not have to use subscript structure initially and then type the expression within as here we are squaring an expression within the bracket now let's enter this last equation for integral sign let's type slash int and press space bar here for upper and lower limits let's use superscript and subscript shortcuts let's type underscore 1 caret k and then press space bar for pi let's type slash pi and press space bar we can directly type 1 forward slash x to get 1 by x for square root let's type slash sqrt and press space bar twice come back to the expression box by pressing left arrow key twice and type 1 plus square bracket then type d forward slash dx and press space bar type round bracket then type 1 forward slash x and press space bar type the respective closing brackets brackets are not up to the size of the expression inside and are looking awkward do not worry it will be adjusted once we come out of the closing brackets type caret sign and 2 and press space bar now the brackets have expanded to the size of the expression before writing dx we need to press space bar to come out of the square root expression so that dx will be out of square root expression when we are writing an equation if we type some words or sentences within the equation nothing to worry we can select them later on and press alt plus equals to convert them to a normal text we can see here that some common preset equations are available to be used off the shelf 
we can select and alter them as per our need. For example, I needed the similar equation. Instead of beta, I want to use theta, which can be easily changed. If we have to use any expression or equation repeatedly, we can save them and reuse them whenever needed. For this, first we need to write the expression or equation. Then click on the drop down arrow at the right side of the equation editor box. There is an option save as equation. Click on it. Give some reference name. And click OK to save the equation. To use this again, we can go to the preset equations and can access the saved equation which will be at the bottom of the list. Once our project is over, if you want, we can delete the saved equations to keep the list tidy. To delete, we can right click the equation. We will get the option organize and delete using which we can delete this unwanted equation. Though there are many other shortcuts, I have covered only the most frequently used ones. If you practice and use these shortcut keys, I am sure you will be able to save considerable amount of your time. Let's conclude this video here. If you have liked my efforts and contents of this video, I request you to hit the thumbs up icon. Please also share this video in your circle. It will encourage us to upload more videos. If you have not yet subscribed our channel, Please do subscribe our channel A1 Help. Please also click on bell icon to get notifications of our forthcoming videos. For any query or suggestion, please leave a message in the comment box. Let's meet again in next video. Thanks for watching till end.